Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's reverse the curse on some superstitions uh, from around the world. There's certain things you gotta know in order to do the reversal. But first, let's take a new selfie face. You took home the wrong child from daycare. Happens to the best of us. I'll be the child. You gotta take a selfie with a child that's not yours so you can be like, uh, is this anybody's? Right. All right, still well, my birthday. Well, Link, first. There's more where that came from. Before we get into learning about superstitions, I just wanna say, um, I didn't have anything to do with this, Ooh. other than the fact that I guess technically, in some way, I funded this cake. Okay. That, that Trevor looks, made. That looks good. That appears to be. This is a chocolate peanut butter cake mm. with Reese cups on top. Now, you got to make a wish, and you got to do the new protocol for blowing out candles, which is get the get the candle out, turn away from the cake, and suck instead of blow. Yeah, right. The old suck and blow. Yep. So I suck it right in there. Do you want a whole? I just want a little slice. I just want a little slice, and so then I can eat another little slice and another little slice. Here, we'll take that, uh, take that Reese cup off the top. Yeah, I love that. Because uh, I have to get too big of a slice if you don't get rid of that. Mine, a great way for you to celebrate my birthday is to go to mythical.com, 30% off some of my favorite items over there, now through June 4th, 2021. All right, you got me a little piece. Okay, uh -oh. so, how are these scenarios? How are these? Little. How are these scenarios being presented to us, Stevie? I'm you gonna, got this. Yeah. All right. Let's hear like, one. Like here, here, here's one. What should you do if you step on a crack? Like to reverse the bad luck of okay. stepping on the crack. To, to repair your mom's broken back. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't think about your mom's back. But think about. There we go. Your mom's back that could it could be broken. It's Is not it? broken yet, but you still have time to oh. take back the, the crack stepping. Oh, but and, and is this a certain place on earth where this happens? This one is not. This one is like, you're walking down the street, you step on a crack, you realize what you've done, you've put your mom at risk, and you want yeah. to reverse what you've what you've done. Mm. I think you gotta get a new mom. Mm, this smells good. <clears throat> yeah. I think you have to... Trade her in. I mean, Maybe walk backwards. You know, if you walk backwards over the same spot, it's probably a spin move involved. I think you gotta Ooh. step. <gasps> you gotta spin around three times, chanting your mom's name or your allegiance to Satan. You have to spin around how many times? Seven three. times. <gasps> yes! You spin around seven times. Hold on, it must, ah! it, it must be your birthday. This is interesting. So it must be my it, birthday. It came from early folklore. The idea was to avoid cracks in the pavement or soil because danger lur lurked in those dark spaces. Yeah. Ooh, this is good. But that's and then logical. those cracks also symbolize gaps between the earthly realm and the metaphysical realm. Were so the cracks a lot stepping bigger than on one, they, they are now. <laughs> probably. Cracks they had really big shrunk. cracks back in the day. I knew that. Mm. Oh, and the spinning is meant to confuse you want some milk? evil mm -hmm. spirits. Trevor, yeah. is Trevor in here? Trevor, that was this is great. It's really good. I'm almost done with. Trevor, my you're watching this later. You watch every episode. Thank you, man. Link, I also got something for you. I put a lot of time and effort into present searching high and low. You know when I get you a birthday present. It's really the amount of time that I've put into the, this. It's the thoughtfulness. What? That's really the gift. Is that you know? It's not the gift. It's the what? I don't know if you know how valuable my time is. <laughs> okay. Just like a second of my time is is worth a lot. <laughs> and I put several seconds into this particular gift. Okay. This sounds so kind of you. At okay. least eight seconds. I mean, I can like, see like, what it is. Think about how long it takes somebody to ride a bull. I know what you're, it's quite a build up for, for the gift that you're getting. Look at this. Crazy cat dad. Crazy cat uh, dad. Yeah. 
Is that was it? This yeah. is it. There's yeah, nothing in here. Your, you can put your milk in that. It doesn't look clean. You could have at least I haven't washed, washed it, it yet. Thank you, Rhett. This is exactly what I was hoping to get yeah. from you for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a cat in my house, and I am a dad. I don't consider myself a dad to the cat. Um, You're just a caretaker? I'm not even that. In I'm, the UK, seeing a single magpie bird is bad luck. If you see one, what should you say? What should you say? Oh, magpie. Um, where's your buddy <laughs> that, that will make this okay? Scat! Magpie, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what, what, you have to say something to a yeah. bird? I don't like to talk to birds. Let me give you some options. Okay. A, good morning, Mr. Magpie. How's your lady wife today? Okay. Oh, insinuating that there is, there is a wife, it's just yeah, not yeah, there. Yeah, she's so not there, right. B, safe flight, fair magpie. That would be easier. Or C, may your worms be juicy and your nest be thick. I think it's safe flight, fair magpie. May your worms be juicy and your nest be thick. That's it. I've heard this before. Oh, really? Mm hmm <laughs> You're both wrong. It's A. Oh. Because you 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 show the bird respect so that he won't pass bad luck onto you, and then seeing two magpies is good luck. So if you ask about the bird's wife, you're implying that there might be one nearby. Right. And just talking. So I was right about that. Talking about her may conjure her. May your worms be juicy and your nest be thin. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. I've heard that. Hmm. I really what is a magpie? Just a, just, a, just a black bird? I think so, yeah. How do you know it's a, ma a male? May your worms be juicy and your nest be thin. Because he's got a juicy worm. His worm is juicy. That seems like one of the signs that, like, moms have, you know, on the wall, like, decorative signs. Yeah. If you sprinkle when you tinkle... Be an angel and wipe your dangle. What is it? It's uh, be a sweetie and wipe the CD. What should you do after saying Macbeth in a theater? Get a refund. <laughs> saying Macbeth in a theater. Oh, so I thought you said. I thought you said seeing Macbeth in. A I theater. just said Macbeth in here. Can I get a refund? Uh, Trevor, you're back. Hey man, this did you Kate. hear me call you? What did I say? You said it was a good cake. It was a good now cake. Now he's just assuming that's what you said. That I, is what he said. I don't even usually like cake, but that was great. Good. It was peanut buttery. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. I could tell that the time that you put into this yeah. really reflects the care <laughs> that you feel for me. How many as an employer? How many seconds did you put into this cake? Uh, seconds. Yeah. Oh, you got to count minutes. Probably about 2,632, maybe. Oh, their fault okay, so you're almost in hours, or definitely. Maybe. Well, I don't know how to do math. You ever said Macbeth in a theater? About half an hour, maybe. He has not. Macbeth in a theater. Say Macbeth in a theater. Uh, now, neither one of us, again. Uh, Thanks for coming back. You're, now you're free to hang out. We're Holy, not very well educated do in whatever classics. whatever you want to do. Um, Hmm. Shakespeare in general. So, but I think that somebody uh, yeah. dies. I, I need, I need, I need, um. Options. Options. A, say Macbeth backwards, the B cam. B, turn off the theater lights for a moment of silence in the dark. Uh, or C, go outside, turn around three times, spit, and knock to be let back in. Oh, you can't. Oh, and you have not to, to be. Well, that one makes the most sense. The saying something backwards is like. First of all, Macbeth backwards is not the B cam. It's step cam. It's just yeah. Step the B cam. cam. No, it's huh. Hateb. I'm sorry. Are you saying something? Hateb are you cam. Hateb cam. Hateb cam. But if you really like. And how could you turn off Macbeth. the theater lights? Step cam. Step cam. Macbeth. Step cam. Step cam. The B cam. The B cam. I'm I think gonna say C. C. Yeah, go out because that's the only thing you have control over. Unless and you're we already the, know the light guy at the theater. Turning around a few times is gonna it solves a world. Problem. Three times spit, knock to be let back in. Yeah, you're right. 
Okay, that's good. Well, I'll remember that. Yeah, right. If I utter Macbeth in a theater. Does that count in just any theater? Like if you're just like an AMC? <laughs> yeah. Because once you leave an AMC, you can't get back in. That's well, true. That's scary, yeah, I had know. to be escorted at one time for that. You just got to wait for everyone to exit and you stick your foot in there. You remember in the Dunn Twin Plaza? Yeah. Uh, they had the exit to the theater at the right next to the screen at the bottom on each side. There was it's Twin Plaza, so two theaters. So you got these two theaters on the outside, right next to the screen was an exit door that literally just went outside. It didn't go to a hallway, just like you're on the sidewalk as soon as you yeah. open that. And I mean, the trick was you pay for one person to go to the movie and then you go, he goes to the door and he lets everybody else in the door. It didn't sound the alarm? And th this was the 80s, so there were no uh, emergency exit alarms. And th it was, they had to, you had to be able to get out. So it was just, I mean, we saw everything. One guy, send one guy in there. Oh. Can't do that anymore. It was good old days when you could just watch a movie for seven for the price of one. Now you gotta make a reservation and all types of stuff. Now I gotta sign seats. All right, let's see. If you walk under a ladder, mm. what should you do? If you walk under a ladder, again, it's hard to spin under a ladder, so that's not it. Walking under walking a ladder. Walking backwards through a ladder is difficult too. If you walk under a ladder, you should destroy the ladder yeah, immediately. You just gotta sanitize it. What about climb the ladder and come down um, while reciting Macbeth? I don't know. Well, I, I've never heard this. Is it? Should you A, spit on your shoe? C, spit on your shoe. Take Say the ladder, ladder down backwards. and lean it on the ground? Or C, Go no further, turn around, and walk back in the direction you came from. I think that's it. I think you gotta go, if you go through the ladder, you can still save face by going back through the ladder. I think- But you have to say, rattle, when you go through, because that's ladder backwards. Again, that's the one that you have control over, taking the ladder down and leaning it on the ground. What if it's not your ladder? That's, rattle. that's, that's pretty, you don't, you don't wanna mess with another man's ladder. C. It's A. Spit, Spit on, on your, your shoe. shoe. That's simple. I like it. Yeah, because um, it it wards off the evil eye. Like spitting wards off the evil eye. You know, you've seen like Greek. It, it, yeah, I've seen uh, Greek. Yeah. Um, also, spit in general is associated with good luck in the supernatural world. Oh yeah, I, I spit really? all over the place. Man, I was I saw a guy spit out of his car the other day. Yeah, he was spitting on a demon. I this mean, one, like, dude. Why are you spitting out of your car? This is not the. Would you rather him side. spit in his car? I'd rather him just swallow. You know, some people burn sage. They move into a space and they burn sage. I'm moving yeah. to a space and I just loogify the whole place. Uh. Um, this one is important to know. What should you do if you break a mirror? Because this ha this happens. Mm -hmm. Break a mirror. So seven years of bad luck. First of all, we know that. Yeah. First of all, I think you gotta get another another mirror just for practical reasons. But that's not the real answer. I think it's something like, don't look into any other mirrors or reflective surfaces for the next three days. You know, I think this one's more modern. I think it's like, send an email without a subject. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the only way this to get rid like, of this one. This is like, uh, move some of your Bitcoin into yeah, a secondary yeah, yeah. offshore yeah. account. Send an email about Dogecoin without a subject line. Close. Is it A, prick your finger with a shard to make a small blood offering? Okay, like with the shard of the mirror. Yeah. That okay. makes, hmm. I don't even think I need the other answers. That's it, A, make B. yourself bleed. Light seven white candles and blow them out after midnight. Mm, well, okay, seven years of bad involved. luck. That's one candle for every year of bad luck. That makes sense. Turn the pieces over, pluck an eyelash out, and lay it on the pieces. Oh, that's that that sounds like some witchcraft. I like eyelash. it. Eyelash. So there's no email. <clears throat> eyelash. Hey, how hard is it to pluck out an eyelash? I think you can get one oh, if you just pull hard enough. I just did it. I think they shed easy. pretty easy. It's easy. Now I know that there's a pluck an eyelash and blow thing for, like, my mom 
That's if you see a, a one of the a things. BW that, Beetle. If there was a if if there was an eyelash, she would like blow it and make a wish. Mm-hmm. Punch so bug. I, I think that that's, and I could be wrong about the details, but I think that's where C is coming from. I, I think, think it's B because of the. I'm just going off the seven years of bad luck. Yeah, because I don't think there's blood either. I agree. B. It's B. Yep. Um, another method, though, if you don't have seven white candles, but you do have a south running stream, is that you toss the shards into the south running so stream. Pollute a stream. Yeah. yeah. Put sharp objects into a body of water. Hey, you, you're you're such an idiot. You broke a mirror, but then you're also a jerk because you polluted a stream. How about you're, put one of those balloons? You're the bad guy. How about get one of those like uh, weather balloons, metal balloons? That, the, the, metal balloon. You know the the like the the silver mylar, balloons, the mylar balloons. Yeah. That say happy birthday on them. They can say anything. And just no specifically because it's your birthday. And just let it go. Tie a note to it and let it go. It's my Richard Petty birthday. Richard Petty, number forty three. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Man, good old Petty. Good old Petty. Yeah, I'd love to be pet by Richard Petty. Yeah, yeah. Get a good heavy petting from Richard Petty. Mm. That'd be a, that's what his podcast should be called. I think he's passed. Heavy petting with Richard Petty. I think he has, has Petty heavy pa- Petty has Petty passed. Heavy Petty with Richard. He's probably got a he's probably got a kid that could do a podcast. Heavy Dick pet- Petty. Heavy heavy petting with Petty's kids. He's still alive. Yeah. He's 83. Oh, he's, he's, he's 40 he in years level older cross. than you. Why would that? No, he was born in Level Cross. Heavy petting with Dick Petty. First of all, I'd like to apologize to all the Richard Petty fans for thinking that he's dead. That's not cool. You know, when somebody's still alive and you think that they're dead, that's one of the biggest insults. He's a cool you, guy. That you can make to somebody. I think he's a cool guy. I think he's I think he is. I, I haven't I haven't done my research here. His last win was in 1984. That was a good year. Firecracker 400. Nicknamed the King, you know? Man. Level good looking cross. car. Good looking car. Good looking man. All right. Yeah. If I, I hope to look half as good as that man when I'm his age. There we go. I love it. It's my, it's my petty. It's my petty day, y'all. Get up to 30% off your mythical.com purchases now through June 4th in honor of Link's birthday.